Andy Roman here. Listen, I want to talk more about getting real and being real. You know, this little video series I call Get Real with Andy. And getting real has to do with waking up to something that's a little deeper and more abiding than our concepts and what we think is happening in the world. You know, so much of who we think we are is really stuff that we learned that was taught to us. And enlightenment and getting real actually does take some effort. And you notice I am equating getting real with enlightenment because get real means reality. What is reality? And so, and if you're not in the wonder of <laughs> the fact that I'm existing here, there was a time when I wasn't, there will be a time when I won't be, but right now I am. If you're not caught up in the magic of that, you're in the unreal world. You know, I worked with somebody um, earlier today who just became aware of a very difficult medical diagnosis. And she's just, you know, she's a young person. She's uh, she's just shocked by the overwhelm of the, the reality of, of the possibility of dying before she wants to. You know, who wants to, number one, but I was really reflecting as I listened to her and her overwhelm and shock, just reflecting on, you know what, that's really all of our condition. It's true for all of us. And I, you know, what am I going to say to comfort her? Everything will be all right. I don't know if everything's going to be all right, but I did say something to her that has been spoken to me that was really helpful to me. And somebody said to me, you have between now and the day you die, how do you want to live that? How do you want to be? What do you want to experience? And yes, being aware of mortality puts an edge into everyday living because it isn't business as usual. And life isn't supposed to be business as usual. And so there is an acute edge into being alive because it isn't forever. I'm not me forever. This, which I refer to as me, is time limited. And I don't know when the end is. I don't know. You know, I'm getting older. I'm in the final quadrant of my life. That's probably a fair statement. And so um, the reality of my mortality is more up for me than maybe some younger person. And so to see this younger person grappling with it, uh, it was it was actually heartwarming. I, it was in a group setting, a lot of people were crying and you know, it's not a happy event. And it, it was very sobering for all of us. It's like, oh my God, one day, it may not be a diagnosis, it may not be imminent, but one day we will realize that my life is finite. There's a finiteness to my existence. And I want to know something before I go. I want to be in touch with something. And I want to be real enough with that so that I can be real in relationship. And I tell you, there is it's a higher, much higher level of vulnerability and availability. All right. Thank you so much for your interest. Of course, I'm going to do my little promo for my books that deal with this phenomenon of being real and how that relates to being healthy. Get real, get well. The power of authenticity to heal. Okay, thank you. I'm not going to go on and on. Obviously, I could. Thank you so much. Peace out.